the recording here in just a moment. All of this oh, stuff already it. started. Great. Welcome. Okay. Let's see. So. Ah, got it. Olivier will take you. Too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. I'll let you finish. <laughs> I start, I, I, I'll start taking notes. <laughs> All right, so the agenda, the proposed agenda topics I had, Jenkins re release candidate, election status report, Olivier, since you're here, that would be a great one for your, your voice. Um, user list moderation question. This is a question that I raised that I'm happy, I would love some, like some guidance from the board on. Hacktoberfest progress and Uh, Google Workspace for Jenkins. Oleg, I assume yeah. that, yeah, that's you. Okay. Yes, me just added. Great. So okay. It's a rather filler topic. I haven't started the mailing list discussion, but if we have time, why not? Okay. Any other topics we should be bringing to this session? Well, I will add uh, inclusive naming initiative membership update. Oh, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything you need to share from CDF Technical Oversight Committee, Oleg? Okay, uh, in the beginning or in the end? Uh, just okay. a placeholder if, if, it, if, it, if it helps you share status there. Yeah, I can uh, do that. Okay. Any other topics on the agenda? Okay, so this one is just FYI, Jenkins, the next LTS is the next, the release candidate for the next LTS is ready for test. Um, please feel free to go ahead and engage in the testing. Uh, release will happen, is expected to happen as scheduled. Olivia, you wanna share with us elections, status report, et cetera? Sure. <clears throat> Sorry. So first, um, at this stage, 53 people registered uh, to participate to the election. Um, that's a great number, but I think we should find a way to do it better. So um, we need some ways to promote the election, at least, at least more, because at this stage, we wrote a blog post. Uh, we send message on mailing lists. Um, I think we can just promote it more on, on Twitter. Um, a feedback that I received many, many times were coming from people that were asking if they were eligible, like uh, apparently it was not really clear enough if a contribution can count um, for the election. Uh, um, yeah, this is a difference from the previous year because previous year we explicitly explained that any contribution counts and if uh, uh, you have concerns, please contact us. So we had this review process. This year, I guess we basically trust everyone who submits uh, yeah. that, uh, they made some contribution. But interesting uh, we, enough, yeah, people, yeah, sorry, no, they continues. Yeah, mm, well, I think it's an okay approach. Uh, what we're missing is rather publicity. Uh, so maybe we should uh, add a, do another round of LinkedIn announcements, plus we can go Reddit, plus we can also ask uh, the Continuous Delivery Foundation to help with marketing. So we still have uh, 10 days uh, until um, uh, the voting registration is over, right? So we are, so that's regarding registration, that's true, mm -hmm. but we are also looking for nomination uh, for board members and officer. Mm -hmm. um, and for that, the deadline is in what is 31 of October because mm -hmm. we want to have enough time to contact a different person to be sure that they are interested. The good thing is we mm -hmm. have several candidates for, for almost every position. Um, but compared to last year, we received less nomination. So that's the same. We should promote more um, people to nominate mm -hmm. candidates. Yeah. So when uh, so you plan uh, to uh, meet uh, candidates to the Jenkins board on thirty first, right? Yes. I, I don't. I don't know if we should um, communicate about the candidate as soon as possible once we get confirmation from them, or if we just wait for thirty one. 
well, uh, previously we were doing it in a kind of runtime basis because uh, if you communicate on 31st, uh, many people won't be able to respond and provide their statements in time. Plus, uh, yeah, in the Jenkins Governance Board, uh, so 31st is Sunday. Uh, yeah. How soon we will be able to review these candidates? So it's probably a question uh, to Gavin and Ulya. And uh, yeah, William is also on the call. I'm I'm trying to not get too involved with the election. So yeah, the problem that with the current process, uh, the governance board should sign off uh, the candidates. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think that it's a big deal. Uh, so because... I did make a, a Google Doc with all the current candidates and replied to Olivia and uh, Evelina's account so they both have it um it's just it's this is not one of my my um mm -hmm. projects so like i said i'm trying to stay hands off but if i need to step in i will step in no that, that's okay i can continue there um i can i can contact all the nominated mm -hmm. people um and ask us I, I can follow with them that's okay yeah and if we if we have a document that we all have access to i i i within a day i should be able to spend mm -hmm. enough time on it to sign off. Uh, so so should we keep a, a, like aim for the 1st of November or something to, to have at least us going think, through this and, and say I'm, I'm, I'm for or I'm against, something like that in the documents? I think uh, Oleg is saying there's, there's two pieces. One, we need to make sure that any of the officers that already officers are willing to be on again, that should be done early. And then one, the off the entire board should be willing to say, nix any nomination, though I'm not sure we should have the power to nix a nomination. Well, personally, I have no problem if it's uh, just uh, you, Gavin, and you, Evelina, approving the candidates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, well, the election process document uh, said that the governance board uh, approves of it. Yeah, my question yeah, is, what does approve uh, mean? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with uh, just delegating my approval to both of you because I fully trust your judgment. Um, I, I join, I join Gavin. I'm not sure to understand what you mean by trust. I mean, approving candidates like, um, like if you feel that that person does not have enough contribution, then you should, uh, should not take the role. That's what you mean. Yeah, something like that. So basically, it was uh, rather a step gap measure if something was going completely wrong. So for example, if somebody who constantly violates uh, the code of conduct runs for the board, uh, so yeah, the board would be able to just uh, block this candidate in theory. Uh, but yeah, we have never had a precedent of that. So I cannot uh, really say whether you should be too concerned. Yeah, I can um, say whether... I'm not, I'm not concerned um, at this stage. Yeah, no, me, me, me neither. I, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, an amount, a number of contributions or something like that should be a, a, a gate here since I didn't have that much, or, or at least that, that's how I feel. But I, I think any of us can feel that, I don't know, for some reason, certain person is not mm. the right fit. And I don't feel that about any of the candidates so far, but I think it makes sense that we all look, so we just don't blindly accept the list and, and put it up mm -hmm. for nomination. So, so yeah, let's just make sure that the, at least some of us review the list and I'll, yeah. I'll promise to do it. Yeah. Can we put the, no, or we can't, can we put the link to the pay, the um, document Oliver you mentioned? Was it you or was it Gavin? Who, who so Gavin, so, so, but yeah, let me, uh, let me, I can give you. I'm sorry, I just have so many notifications and communication channels. I'm I can I put the link here. Things. Yeah, I'm, I'm reluctant to put it in the document because it's public. Okay, then, uh, then, uh, then the, uh, the, the, no, the uh, Jenkins government meeting document is public. I'm not sure we want our candidate list to be public okay. before we uh, prove them, so. No, I thought that uh -huh. the list has uh, like uh, limited mm -hmm. access to some of us, and then the yeah, putting the link is not a problem. But otherwise, that's you, can, okay. you, can, you can easily retrieve the document. Uh, yeah, so let me here. let me just clarify. The document I created, uh, if you have the link, you can view it. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, 
Um, so if you can access to that that community link, you could that you also have access to it. And then uh, this document is one I was worried about putting the my Google Doc link because this document, the one that um, I think Mark is sharing, is public. So I think the way Olivia did it, it works pretty well. So only the election committee can see that thread. So okay, oh, that's okay. So. Uh, regarding nominations, uh, one of uh, mission critical role is security officer. So they are basically, well, I would say that it's rather an expectation that whomever is a candidate for security officer has experience of working uh, in the Jenkins security team. But yeah, I don't particularly expect uh, there to be uh, candidates from outside anyway, but who knows. Me neither. Um, mm -hmm. And there are definitely some officers that are more tricky uh, for the candidates. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we will review that. I don't think we have to, we have to spend much time, more, more time in this yeah. year. Agreed. So for me, one of the critical things is events officer, because yeah, if the nominations is great, if not, uh, yeah, I'll probably do some leg work uh, in the coming days. Uh, but yeah, last year. Uh, well, let's see. You're saying Marky hasn't done anything in a year that we should mark. We could we should nominate Marky. Thanks, Oleg. You're the best. No, I didn't say that. Uh, um, well, uh, yeah, last year. So no, no, I'm teasing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, can share some insights because yeah, I was reaching uh, to several potential uh, uh, officers because we also had a kind of open problem. Uh, who would be taking uh, this role in the beginning of the election cycle. Uh, so yeah, but the, uh, uh, the most of candidates uh, either didn't reply or refused. There, so, there are a number of candidates for the opposite positions, though we can always use more because I think uh, the mm -hmm. Jenkins project as a whole, uh, very few people are doing a very lot of work. And so we always need more people in there. Yeah, so we got a few new names in there, which is good, but you know, mm -hmm. No, having few names is definitely good and I'm happy to let people try. Um, yeah. So why not? So when so, we blast the signing up to uh, vote, we should also uh, blast this as if anyone has any nominations for any people. Hmm. Oh. Uh, wrong copy paste, but I just want to, to close this topic by um, to, to, mm -hmm. to remind the next date. So the next date is the 31 of October, which is the deadline for a nomination. And then we wait um, one week to get confirmation from the nominate, uh, from the people. Um, so we wait one week and on the 7th of November, we start uh, inviting people to vote. So the mm -hmm. 7th of November would be the, the first uh, date um, where people can vote for the project and the projects. And the deadline is end of November. Ooh. That's, that's all for me. For me. Mm So anything else on the elections topic? I think we got it. Okay, great. All right. Um, next topic was a Jenkins user mailing this moderation question. Um, I'm not sure if the what the appropriate response here is. Should I show the display to everyone what the proposed posting is that was that caused me to pause and say it, or how would you like to evaluate it? I had sent this question to the governance board, I think maybe a week ago, but I wasn't sure who else to ask or, or if there's already a process document that I just failed to read. Um, so- You can share it, but I think okay. the gist is that a private company had a Jenkins offering and you and they were wanting to post it to the mail the user's mail list to say hey you should use their offering 
Right, exactly. It's a, yeah, that's a very good way of describing it. It is here. I'll, I'm going to bring it up then since, since that sounds okay. So here is how it looks. Uh, let's see if I can make it bigger so it's readable. So the propose it's a, it appears to be a product from Release IQ called Essentials for Jenkins and offers the ability to create multiple Jenkins controllers and then manage those things. And they've got a web page for it here. The question I had was, do we allow commercial posts like this to the Jenkins users mailing list? Or is that, that a no, we probably should have them promote some other way? I haven't seen anything that would restrict that. So from the rules perspective, I do not see that they would be violating anything. Okay. Um, whether it's totally appropriate or not, uh, well, I think it's okay because uh, why not? Uh, uh, for, for me, I think it's okay as long as they just send one email. I mean, as long as they don't spam the mailing list on a regular basis. Yeah, maybe we should uh, invite them to the Jenkins online meetup to present. Why not? Uh, well, here, so essentials for Jenkins, so they do not uh, violate uh, the trademark usage requirements. I mean, at large. Um, yeah, so yeah. that was going to be my thing. As long as they meet the actual requirements for trademark, mm -hmm. um, I don't see a problem with it. Uh, if they offered support, I would be in totally in favor of it going to the user's mail list. As is, it, the description doesn't sound like we're offering a commercial support, just a version, a bundled version, like the, the Cloud Bees Free one. So not excited about it, but I have no issue with them going to the user's list. But yeah. I think this doesn't, isn't it? Like how, what is the trademark re uh, restriction for this? Is it for Jenkins or something else? Uh, yeah, for Jenkins. Uh, so this one's Jenkins, fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's uh, within uh, um, fair use. So other requirements we have is that uh, they put credit to Jenkins as trademark, that Jenkins is a reg registered trademark of the Linux Foundation in the bottom. I'm not sure whether it's followed on this page. Yeah. Uh, no, this but, is... Uh, that would be a relatively simple thing for us to ask of them saying, hey, yep. please, please attribute because they, they did a really good job of choosing the name, right? It does comply with the Linux Foundation guidelines for the for naming. Yep. So it maybe brings uh, again the question about uh, having uh, the list of uh, Jenkins vendors and enterprise support providers yeah. because our previous list on Wiki is dead and well taken uh, its previous state. I'm happy to see that because, for example, even cloud business information there was outdated, something like several years outdated. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm happy to somehow revise this topic. But for this particular blog post yeah. announcement, it's, it seems to be fine. It's Great. a question of whether we would uh, repost it in social media, for example, uh, reposting tweets. Uh, but uh, even for that, uh, I don't see a particular problem. So, so given that this, if, if this were allowed, I, I want to be sure that that's, that I've understood it, that would likely mean that, for instance, CloudBees would be allowed to post something similar to the user list, right? That they could, they could announce things related to their product. Um, other companies that are doing products based on Jenkins would be allowed to as well, right? Yeah. I so, think in some degree, it, we're not the best audience to ask this question either, because I don't know how many of the people here use a user's mailing list. You know, if a company posted once a month, that would, that would be frustrating. If they posted once a year, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. You know, so mm -hmm. I think there should be, I mean, I think this should be released because they didn't break any rules and it fits all the trademarks. So I don't think it should be blocked in the list. And then I think there should be like a poll or something for the actual members of the user's mailing list to see how they feel. Hmm. Yeah. Did the company also submit to what the blog, what the mailing list uh, posting would say? No, no, this is, this is the, this is the posting. It's just not been approved yet. Ah, 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 thank you. I, I see. Mm -hmm. Good, good question. But 
Uh, they, they submitted it for approval by virtue of them not yet being a, a, an, an allowed subscriber to the mailing list. And because no one's approved it yet, it hasn't been posted. And so that was my question here today is, I, it sounds like the, the consensus here is we should allow this, we should post it, and it might be healthy to not just grant them full per permission, but each time they post, we approve it again, a moderator improves it, and we continue with that moderation path to be sure that it's not not being overloaded. I'm, I'm going to say the opposite. I'm going to say we're not going to block it uh -huh. because I don't think the board should be the one blocking or managing the mail list. It's user's list should be users controlled rules and just the board isn't blocking it, it allows it through and then someone starts a thread and says, hey, do we want to keep allowing these? Oh, okay. That'd be my vote. Okay, so we've got, we've got a majority of board members here. Could I ask for um, approval? It sounds like we're approved to, to allow this one in and allow them as a member of the list so that they continue posting. Um, any objections from any of the board members? Or let's go for the, is it okay to ask for a vote from board Be members? Before we do that, is, and if you click on the about, does it say any restrictions? It's on the left side, third from the bottom. About. Oh, good, good question. I don't see any. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that answered your question. It did. Okay. Great. So I'm good to vote. All right. So let me capture the votes. Hang on. Get the notes to up here. Okay. So um, general consensus allow. Uh, commercial posts are allowed, allowed a uh, user list moderated by the users. And uh, let's, uh, did I not say that? No. I, I have I don't want to say allowed because that, that puts board going, yes, we approve this message. That's my only concern. Oh, so okay. basically uh, what I would say that it doesn't violate the current rules in place, hence it should be posted. Yeah. But we reserve our right uh, to impose uh, the rules if we feel it's a kind of abuse. Yeah. Uh, going okay, forward. Good. If if there is abuse in the future, mm -hmm. in the future, we can consider additional rules. Yeah. Is that a fair way to say it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and good. Are, are are we this board, the ones that are setting rules for uh, user mailing list? Not really. Does anyone outside of Mark have access to the user's mail list? Like the, I, I don't. O Olivier is one of the owners of it, so he certainly does. And I believe Alex Earl is one of the moderators. Oh, uh, none of the board and some of the officers is what you're saying. I, I don't. I don't know. I so would, I, I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think it's a board operated thing. It's a board sponsored yeah. thing, sure, but not a board operated thing. Yeah, so here how I interpret that, yeah, it's a valid uh, question for the governance meeting. Uh, there is a topic which is basically in the gray zone. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So how we would uh, move there, uh, we discuss, we agree, that's it. Uh, whether it's a responsibility of the Jenkins board or not, it's, it doesn't really matter. It's a community meeting and yeah. uh, this is how we can discuss it. That being said, I am very much in favor of offloading any and all support we can do because it is exhausting all the questions we get and how few people that can answer them. So I'm in favor of commercial offerings. Great. Okay, so have I, is the phrasing here adequate to, to be ready to call for a vote? I'm happy with that phrasing. Okay. See, I'm, so... I'm almost happy about the phrasing. I just, uh, uh, I just don't want to send the message that we, the board, are the ones that are going to make additional rules because it's not we the board it's ah. maybe we jenkins mailing users is is i'm sorry if that's kind yeah. of uh, yeah, that's yeah. Right. we jenkins community represented as a jenkins governance meeting uh, but yeah if we want a formal decision for example if we wanted to change the rules then it would have had to go through the development mailing list 
Yeah. Like it usually okay, happens I, I, for... I'm not saying I, I choose one over another. I just yeah. understood Mark's question, not only to be about this po post, but in general mm -hmm. about this moderation. So I would I would just like, uh, I don't mm -hmm. have opinion about that. I, I don't see a problem with the post. When mm -hmm. I joined the list, I felt like I can post anything. And yeah. if I misbehave, then someone will kick me out. And this someone might not be might not be defined at the, at this point, but uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to to understand how 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 you guys feel. Are are we want to uh, do we feel responsible for this list or or not? We as an individual might feel responsible. We yeah, as a board does not. I I see. That's my vote. I agree. Yeah. Okay, and I, and I was. I, was I think his community to... can consider additional rules would be the phrasing that I would the most happy with. Okay, I, it's just for me, I'm accustomed to thinking of the 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 best rulemaking body we've got actually is the governance board. That yeah, was why yeah, I, I used board. I understand. But, uh, okay, I that's... understand. I, I, would, I would just not want to send the message that we, we're going to monitor and moderate this board. But if the got community it. reaches out to us and complains about something, then, then, then that, that, that's how I would... I would see uh, okay. this. Yeah. I kind of can work in it's, reality. We're not going to suddenly start moderating the list, right? Yeah, it's setting expectations. We don't, if board never says we're going to moderate it, then we're not saying no one's going to expect the board to moderate it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, so testing the phrasing one last time. Is that phrasing <laughs> sufficient that you're ready to vote on it? I'm good. Good. Okay, let's hear the votes, please. Uh, I'm voting to allow this. Allow okay, so products. got it. All right, so Gavin uh, and Evelina? Yeah. Uli? I would like to allow it as well. This one. Great, thank you. That's and any 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 naysayers of the other, others who are attending, Olivier or Marky, um, do any of you have have negative on that? I have none. I'm a non-binding plus one. Yeah. So great. Thank you. That that didn't didn't expect to take quite that much time on it, but thanks very much for the conversation and for the clarity, Gavin, Gavin and Evelina, especially in terms of getting getting those those things hammered out that's that's those are very good points all right next topic then or i assume nothing else on this topic are we ready for next topic yes okay so executive decision <laughs> <laughs> great hacktoberfest project project progress report um, I'm a, a little bit, un, I am completely underprepared for the sharing. This is a few minutes of, of conversation. Um, the plug-in docs migration project, we've gotten almost 25% in progress or done that we started with on the list. So that's that's a up to 10 out of 40 looking pretty good. Not as good as I wanted. I had hoped to be way beyond 40 by now. French localization is getting really good work. We've had some excellent docs posts. We've got a nice architecture diagram, a pair of them, thankfully. And, and we've got more to do there, though. We need more promotion. So remind me, I someone sent me, sent me a link earlier about how to make architecture diagrams as code, which may be useful so we can keep things up to date. Oh, so remind cool. me later, and I'll, I'll get you the link. Um, but I also wanted to you know, give you kudos for getting some new plugin maintainers which I didn't expect to come out of Hacktoberfest, but you've been pushing harder than I expected. So I wonder, you know, that's really awesome. Well, and, and new right now, I think is maybe one, yeah, but that's, that's still, that's still greater zero. than zero, right? That's still greater than zero. And, and I've been, I confess, I've been having fun with, uh, with Darren Pope and I doing these conversations about small modifications. So we'll, we'll keep that story up. And Diraj and I will do a, a tutorial on Jenkins.io for it. Okay, next topic then, uh, inclusive naming initiative. Oleg? Uh, yeah, so updates since uh, two weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, the CDFTOC approved application as I reported uh, at the last meeting. 
then uh, we submitted uh, the mailing list application to the Kuzak Naming Initiative. Uh, we got uh, plus ones from uh, uh, community leaders there. And uh, our next step is to submit official membership request through the uh, um, enrollment uh, LFX tool. So it's a new tool they develop for all kinds of organization management in the Linux Foundation. And there we had hit an issue. So basically only Tracy was able to, uh, to submit uh, the membership request. Uh, we tried to do it together with Tracy and then we hit an issue with my email because uh, the form uh, strongly requires uh, a company email and I do not have one at the moment. Uh, so yeah, uh, fixes in progress. Uh, I created uh, my own domain for now. And uh, yeah, Tracy will resubmit the request. Then it will take, uh, I have no idea how much time, but uh, basically everyone is on board. So the Continuous Blair Foundation will be joining and we will have uh, Jenkins as one of the related projects uh, listed uh, on the list. When you said company email address, you just mean a non Gmail, like they don't really say company company. Oh, uh, well, uh, it filters out uh, all other emails they have to. Okay. So it's not just Gmail, it's Yandex and yeah. whatever standard yeah. ones. The non, yeah. So another option, we could probably set up a forward for Jenkins.io as well. Uh, yeah, actually I added a topic Google workspace for Jenkins below. Yeah, so but even even without a workspace, mm -hmm. just like, because uh, we have the MX pointed somewhere, we can just forward LFX at Jenkins.io to somewhere. So, mm -hmm. but if you got your okay. email address, that works too. Yeah, so we can definitely discuss a bit. Uh, yeah, at the moment uh, I already applied uh, workaround because I happen to own a few domains. Yeah, uh, terrible ones, but okay, uh, works for this use case. Um, yeah. So, well, basically that's it. Mm, but yeah, it should uh, finish soon. Excellent. Thank yeah. you. So then uh, CDFTFC updates, uh, we have discussed a new roadmap for Continuous Delivery Foundation. Basically, it's one of my pet projects recently. Uh, this roadmap uh, is in draft, it hasn't been officially approved by CDFTFC. Uh, it's basically uh, constructed from topics we have on the QC list at the moment. And you may notice that uh, there are no topics which are directly linked to Jenkins, maybe except the uh, Inclusive Naming Initiative membership. So if you see something that needs to be done on the CDF level and requires TOC involvement, then uh, please comment. Uh, there is a issue of discussion for this ticket uh, and we can uh, add uh, topics. So for example, one of potential topics is uh, the transfer of uh, Amazon accounts to the Continuous Delivery Foundation. But um, to be honest, I'm not sure why it needs uh, TOC to be involved uh, in this uh, matter. But yeah, it's just an example of something uh, where we definitely need the uh, action from the Continuous Delivery Foundation. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and uh, another topic uh, which is related to Jenkins ecosystem. So there will be new project joining CDF, CD events. So uh, yes, yeah, one line above. So basically, this is a specification project. Uh, this is extension for cloud events, uh, well, to some extent, uh, that uh, defines the standard for various uh, uh, events submitted by CI/CD systems. And uh, it basically builds around the uh, proposal. So for example, captain events, participates, uh, then uh, there is Ericsson and the uh, um, AFL community that also participates, uh, plus IBM and uh, many other organizations. Uh, so yeah, and uh, they're working on the first version of the standard and uh, it will proceed as a suggestion, uh, well, as a my incubating project. Um, for us, yeah, cloud events plugin will likely need uh, some adjustments if you want it to be aligned with the standard. So it's probably a topic uh, for the future. When you say cloud events, you mean like a payload or a, a body, not a actual like conference? 
uh, yeah, so basically yep. it's specification for the payload. Uh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's still not in a finalized state. And, and yeah, there is a lot of discussion. And yeah, it joined the uh, events seek because, well, it will be somewhat related to my next job. Uh, so yeah, we will keep uh, updates coming on this topic. Uh, but yeah. I'm not sure whether Cloud Events plugin is actively maintained at the moment, but I think that we need to proceed with that because it's one of the reference implementations for CD events as it's foreseen. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Uh, ready for any questions there or ready for next topic? Okay, Google Workspace for Jenkins, Oleg. Uh, yes, yeah, so basically it's follow up to the email domain discussion. So we we touched the Google Workspace uh, or how it was called before Google G Suite. Uh, so basically we have a number of problems with our materials at the moment. So we have a lot of Google Docs, including uh, this uh, governance meeting uh, Google Doc. All of them are scattered across individual and sometimes company accounts of people. Um, and basically, as a community, we have exactly zero control over that. So, for example, if I delete my account, uh, currently this Jenkins governance meeting agenda document will disappear, uh, which is definitely not uh, the best uh, uh, thing from the project sustainability point of view. Uh, plus, uh, yeah, there are other things we could use the J Suite for, of course, emails. Uh, also event planning system, because instead of relying on Calendly, et cetera, we could use uh, um, uh, J Suite for that. Uh, and a lot of other things that could be potentially applied, including uh, even uh, GCP billing, if we decide to have GCP billing on our own in the Jenkins organization. Uh, so question uh, to people here, do we really want uh, to explore uh, Google Workspace sponsorship options uh, because without sponsorship, it's uh, very expensive. It's something like $20, sorry, $12 per month per user, which is probably reasonable for corporate system, but definitely doesn't uh, make sense for Jenkins community. So we can just uh, shake some trees and see whether Google would be interested to sponsor that or finding other solutions. Um, or maybe alternative is uh, looking for solutions within the Linux Foundation that could provide the same. Because, for example, Google Doc, yeah, Google Doc can be mostly replaced by HackMD as a freemium service with GitHub backend uh, for storage. Or there could be other services, so for example, own cloud, etc. It could be also one of uh, open source uh, services that could be deployed. Uh, for example, within the Linux Foundation infrastructure. So, but yeah, it's a kind of many alternatives. So my question to the people here, uh, would you like to explore an uh, option with Google Workspace? So um, my feeling is I'm not totally sold on Google Workspace, but it does mm -hmm. work. Um, I personally like having all my email in one spot, which is something I guess I could do with Workspace still. I don't know how, like, I don't know a board would get their own email address. I don't know how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I rather, I don't know. It's, I agree something should be done because the current setup is a mess. But mm -hmm. I think we have, I still think we have too many initiatives going on to add more to the list. Yeah, well, that's a fair point. So yeah, Google Workspace is probably straightforward enough because for example, how it would happen, yeah, we get a corporate slash community account, uh, this community Google Drive, and then in a few clicks, I move over my Jenkins folder to the community Google Drive. And then I use permissions uh, for maybe a couple of weeks after that, uh, but yeah. And it'd be nice to have like the press account because I just got an email from press and it would be nice to not to go to a single person, you know, mm -hmm. and even when, when we had the, uh, the wiki issues, it 
they people uh, news people were emailing each of us individually and it wasn't very coordinated responses so there's definitely some appeal to this i'm just i don't know it doesn't feel like the right time but it, there's never going to be a right time yeah so we still have one potential option so for emails for example we can uh, ask for linux foundation emails or for cd foundation emails uh, because both of them exist and yeah, technically we could ask something like Jenkins Press at Linux Foundation. Uh, yeah, whether it sends a right message or not to such a domain, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, technically it's possible. I would definitely prefer Jenkins I mean, uh, Linux Foundation could host the MX for uh, Jenkins IO that is pretty easily as well. So yeah. Okay. So. I'm not too concerned about emails because yeah, emails yeah, uh, it's a rather a segue topic for me. We can uh, create a domain anywhere for a couple of emails. Uh, for me, file storage uh, is a bigger problem uh, organization-wise. Yeah, that is definitely a concern of mine. Yeah, well, what's good, good about Google, it's probably most of us are pretty comfortable with it, with it and used to using it. I mean, I know it's not a rocket science, but uh, I, I am reaching a point where adding a, another tool is not exactly something I want to do. So mm -hmm. if we can have an, a, a, a Google account that will not cost us uh, a lot, then I think we should give it a go and see what's, uh, what's there. Mm -hmm. It would be sweet to have some cool open source tool to use it, but uh, to, to, to use instead of uh, Google, but... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh... HackMD has some advantages, but HackMD is not an open source tool. It's mm -hmm. a service, basically proprietary. Uh, it just uh, allows streaming uh, data to Git or GitHub as a storage. So basically, you get a dump of all your nodes in Markdown, which is kind of helpful. Just, just for record. Uh, uh, HackMD is the commercial offering of an open source product. There is an open source version. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, sorry for that. But yeah, so for example, I would be open uh, to give it a try. For example, uh, moving to Google uh, sort of governance meetings to HackMD. Uh, I'm not sure whether it would be okay uh, for the entire ecosystem. And you're taking the number of various shared uh, Google Docs I create. It might be more convenient to keep doing it like that. Plus, uh, there are Google Slides and other things that cannot be put uh, in uh, HackMD easily. So, yeah. I feel like this should, I know you don't want me to say it, but I think it should be delayed until the new infra officer is elected or a current mm -hmm. infra officer because it's going to depend greatly on them. Mm -hmm. Um, no, it's a fair point. So I also don't want to, to add more things on my plate right now. I, mean, I have so huge backlog uh, of things to deliver on. So. Okay. So I think the short version is I'm in favor of something. As, as, uh, as Evelina said, uh, I'm, Google works really well. And I have no objections to Google, but I'm reluctant to commit to anything right now. Mm -hmm. So basically, feel free to contribute. Uh, asterisk, uh, do not overcommit. Right. Okay. Great. But yeah, thanks for the feedback. So let's just park it here for now. Okay. And yeah, for open source uh, design and engagement. Uh, so maybe one thing for your information, uh, on uh, Monday, uh, I joined the uh, Open Source uh, Design Sustainability webinar. Uh, so basically, today we discussed a lot about uh, Jenkins user experience, how we try to unblock designers, what works, what's not. So we talked about the Yerk seek, newcomer onboarding flows, newcomer documentation, uh, and that is the thing we do. Uh, well, uh, there is, of course, a lot of things to be improved, but uh, I already got some feedback from uh, 
uh, they communicate about uh, what else could you could do because uh, there is a lot of obvious things uh, like body uh, collaboration with the community so maybe i will be bringing up this topic to the ux seek within coming weeks yeah. and yeah i think that uh, Xopan soft design uh, yeah, we just started something like half a year ago like uh, uh, having some uh, um, uh, open tickets on the job board for Jenkins community and uh, having uh, maybe some kind of unboarding flow between these communities but yeah all of that is wide open but for your information I will be spending some time on that just because I'm interested in this area Thanks. Yeah. Any other topics for today? No. Okay, let's call a, an end to this session. Thank you. I've got a, I had a hard stop 10 minutes from now. So this is, our timing is really great. Thanks everybody. We will plan mm -hmm. to meet again in two weeks. Yeah, so next meeting, uh, we are switching time zones again, right? Oh, are we? Oh dear, help me. Okay, that's a good check. Next meeting time. I'm used to meeting times always being in UTC, but are, do we need to adjust the start time of our next meeting? Uh, Uli, I think yours and Evelina's schedules were the ones that were, what's, what does two weeks from now look like for the two of you? Yeah, I think we, uh, last week we decided that we changed the time, mm -hmm. not to UTC, but to our local time. Okay, all right. So our next meeting then will be November 3 at, and so that would be one hour earlier. Okay, one hour earlier than current time. So it would be, it will be at 1 p.m., no, no, at 8, at 7 p.m. UTC rather than the 8 p.m. UTC that it's currently at. Great, okay, thank you. I'll get the calendar, I'll mark adjust the calendar entry. Yeah, thank you. a good question. It seems it has to be a 9 p.m. UTC then. Oh, so I went the wrong uh, direction? Uh, yeah. Sorry, that's, I am no, I am certainly not a time lord. There is clear problem in me managing time zones. No yeah, it's not only you. I just, I'll, I'll just go to the meeting when it's in my calendar. I'm not trying to figure that out. It's well, and it's and please, much. I will adjust <laughs> it immediately after this meeting ends. And if you find that I adjusted it the wrong direction, please tell me and I'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so it's this. Uh, thanks to everyone for flexibility. Okay, and it's one, but one hour early. Okay, I've, I've got to show you this calendar. So this is November 3rd on my calendar and it shows 8 p.m. UTC and one hour earlier, I would have moved well, I would have moved it back one like this. That's not what we want though. Oh, like you were saying, it needs to go down this way. Yeah, so basically for me, the problem that, uh, yeah, parenting schedule, so yeah, my son is usually asleep by 9.30, but definitely not by nine. So for ah. me, it's preferable to stay at uh, 10 p.m., to start at 10 p.m. local time. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I understand that for the people in Europe, it might be super late. And for people in our park, it may be super early. So I'm ready to adjust if needed. Sure. Uli, help me understand. So was your intent one hour earlier here or one hour later here? Actually, I just don't want to change my local time. So oh. my local time is perfectly if we start at 10 p.m. Okay. And two weeks, 10 p.m. is, yeah. What's, what is what is your local, local time? In, uh, what city are you in? Uh, I'm in Munich, Berlin. Or whatever. Okay, because I'm using World Time Buddy to figure this out. So yes, 9 so p.m. Central European time. So and, we... uh, it will be UTC plus one uh, starting from whatever October. Uh, link to the selection. So uh, this is what I figured out. So uh, Munich, it's, it'll be 10 p.m. 
UTC would be 9 p.m. and for me it'd be 2 p.m. Okay, time. so that so I think I got it right then. This it needs to be later, not earlier. Excellent. All right, adjusted, adjusted to local to local time. Got it. Okay, so I think I sent you an invite. Check your calendar, please. If it's wrong, let me know. We will correct it back to whatever it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Right. Excellent. Okay. Thanks all. Thanks everybody. Recording will be posted. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.